A seven year old boy tonight is fighting for his life. He was shot while playing on his porch of his West Philadelphia home. This was breaking news last night at 10 and 11. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with more. Hi, Trang. Good evening, Joe. A family spokesperson tells me that Zaymar Jones is in a coma at CHOP with his parents by his side. So far, police have one man in custody in connection with this shooting, but they are still looking for two others. I have grandkids. That boy's age. And if you're not safe on your own porch, where are you safe? Seven-year-old Zaymar Jones's toys remain on the porch of his West Philly home. They are toys he was playing with around 740 Saturday night when he was caught in the crossfire of a shootout where at least 16 shots were exchanged. Little Zaymar was shot in the head. If this man knew the little boy that he hurt, he would be hurt in the way we hurt him. Family friend Makiba McNeely is speaking for Zaymar's family. She says he is the youngest of six siblings who call him Jojo and is beloved on the block for his friendly nature. He played and joked with everybody from the youngest to the oldest left him. Police have one man in custody. Investigators say he drove a Chevy Silverado onto the 200 block of North Simpson Street and opened fire on a group of men. He then crashed into a GMC Yukon, jumped in, and drove off. Officers were able to catch him when he returned to try to get the Silverado back. Police are still looking for two men in the group who pulled out guns and fired back. We do know we have group on group uh, violence in this particular area, but it's too early to say what this was actually about. McNeely, one of a growing group of fed up neighbors, has strong words for the man who left Zaymar fighting for his life and his family praying for a miracle. You shot someone you wasn't even shooting at. And he's a baby. He ain't begin to live his life. You ain't begin to live your life like this doesn't make sense to me. Now, police are not yet releasing the name of the man they have in custody, but Commissioner Outlaw said Saturday that investigators have some very strong leads, including surveillance video that she hopes will lead them to the two shooters. Those men got away in a maroon Ford Taurus that was later recovered. But for now, we're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe. What a terribly sad story, Trang. Thank you.